Welcome to the 2v2 quick match in the BFME 1 online battle arena, this time on the map Central Italian and we will get to play with the Rohan faction. Master the Rohirrim. Okay, so that's a good matchup, you know, it can go either way. I like the combination of good and evil a bit more. But, uh, you know, the combination of Gondor and Rohan, just like in the films, is also just great. Oh my god, I kind of misthought this, um, the position. So when you play Rohan, you have a couple of options. And one of the odd options would be to kind of spam the units all over the map to take the entire map. But I will actually try to go for a semi-fast stable build. And when you... Use the post and gate, you can get out way quicker. And demolish it right after. There we go. Okay, so the plan is to bring the fight to them. We will win this day with haste. Follow me. Use whatever weapons you can muster. We better do something. The farm is ready. I mean, I'm not sure about the creep at the top side. I hope it's going to be a goblin creep so we can take it down with our hobbit. I haven't played this map for a long time, so I'm not really uh, certain. Even though I think it might be the war player, and it is going to be the war player, so we can take it down. Okay, so we need to um, capture this settlement over there. And we are putting good amount of pressure on our opponent. We will also get the chance to commit to his lumber mill. It's a great start for us. We basically took a settlement from our opponents for free at their side of the map. That's pretty good. And this lumber mill won't be saved. Oh my god, he's putting pressure on me, actually. How dare you, soldier. And this host, by the way, I can't micro. Everything is reacting a bit later. So we need to be kind of... Look, oh my god, I'm trying to get away, bro. Leave me alone. I, okay, that's pointless. I can't. I just can't. So I wanted to hit, run, hit, run, but oh my god, he's bringing the second soldier. You are soldiers of Gondor. I mean, that's a brave move from him that will kind of force me to get some uh, peasants up on the field. But you don't want to put too much pressure on Rohan, otherwise you will lose your entire side, you know? You will lose your own area. Need to wait for the for this person to come out before using draft. Super important. Now we can use draft. If you use draft before, then this person will be undrafted, and it's gonna be basically as weak as lumber mill workers. You know what I'm saying? Our eco is looking good, though. I like it. So around the farm to destroy it a bit faster. I mean, uh, you know, he, he went for the land, but, uh, you know, that's the thing. I already destroyed it, and now I don't need to fight that anymore. Enough of this. I mean, we basically won the fight quite hard. Again, we surrounded him, and we know he has no heal. So that's the reason why we were able to win the fight without any problems. Over here. Over here. Quickly. And my Rohirrim is going to be there very, very soon. Hobbit is going to get cloaked, but it's okay. I will be recapturing my settlement there. Everything is going pixel perfect. So, according to the plan. And we dealt good amount of damage. My ally has also three untouched farms, farms under his control. That's pretty good too. So his eco should be fine. He actually has even four farms under his control. That's even better. So we have the eco advantage over our opponents. That's for sure. I want to creep. Um, when you creep with horses, they will get level 2 from a war player. 
and this level 2 is a major objective it's super powerful so now the problem is though we need to think about the solution because our ally also went for the cavalry so i think we need to abort the mission and quit making rohirrim warriors okay because when we both when i make rohirrim and he makes knights of gondor um, then all Aizen has to do really is to get some pikemen upon the field. So I need to demolish this. And I want to go for, you know, maybe elven warriors. I know you guys like the elves a lot. So let's go for the elves. But first of all, we need to go for hero action, okay? So archer units, regardless what it is. It might be crossbowmen, archer, gondor archer, yeoman archer. I don't know, ranger or elves. They are not as strong as they can be when they have no hero support. And when you go for Alvin strategy, you can't do this without the Prince of the Mirkwood Elves, okay? And that's Legolas, the son of Tranduil. Demolish this one too. We don't need a well in the castle when we have the outpost. So remember with Rohan, you have only seven available spots in your, in your castle. Oh, thank you very much. I'm coming for you, bro. Let me trample you first. Just like in the films. Trample down the Uruks. But he's bringing the ally. Unlike in the films. So. Hold on a second. I have heal now. I can turn and fight this. You want to fight this? You want to play rough? Let's fight this. I will show the true power of Rohirrim warriors. Wait with the heal in the... Oh my god. He's, they are cheating, man. It's a 2v1 situation over there. But in the meantime, he was going to lose all his settlements. And I will still commit to this creep. Let's take down the take the farm and then commit 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 wedge formation for more DPS. I will take it. I will take it. I will find you and I will take you. Let's go. Beautiful powerpoints and we will also get in safety. No problemo. You know what I'm saying. I mean, we, we know that our opponents are not really rich, okay? That's that's one thing we know. And also, my ally is going to take this creep with his two knights. So, I'm going to take down the farm over there. Amazing. Look what we are doing. We are bringing the fight to the bottom side of the map, which kind of forces the enemy players to, uh, you know, protect their settlements and fight for their own settlements. In the meantime, though, and that's the key point, our settlements, the top side of the map, is our kingdom. It's untouched. And the prince of the Midwood Elves will be there very, very soon. Beautiful. Okay, we need to... What about side by side with a friend? You know what I'm saying? So we need to... We can't leave Legolas alone. So we need his, uh, you know, teammate. His most favorite friend. Who, of course, is Gimli. That must be the enemy. We have such good eco actually. We can also go for the Grand Harvest later on in the castle and get even more money. I represent the elves of the Woodland Realm. Gather your weapons. Oh, I don't wanna I don't wanna risk it actually, you know. It would be great to destroy this level to Lumber Mill, but I don't wanna risk it. I have remember I've demolished this table, so I will have only this two Rohirrim warriors for a very long time. So it's time now to play the Tom and Jerry, you know, to hit and run with our Legolas. That's the plan. Gather your weapons. There they are. What should we do? Be ready. They're attacking! Let's move on. I'm gonna use Hawk Strike on them. This Take this. Fly. These two fly like brothers. Strike forward. Gimli is also on his way. They're beautiful. Gimli is gonna be the backup for Legolas. We're gonna be the tank so we can absorb the damage and give some peel. For the damage carry. Come on. Oh, look the Hawks right. That's gonna be OG for them. Watch this, watch this. Hold on. Go, go, go. And watch this. A kaboom! Okay, my ally is aborting the mission. Help! Help! Don't leave me well. Look, these knights of Gondor are. Okay. Maybe I can get level 3. Splash damage. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, I have heal. Heal, heal. What are we waiting for? I shall wait. 
I shall lead you. Stay sharp! Damn, man. I'm so rusty in this game, bro. <laughs> I'm so rusty. I'm so bad. But I promise you, that won't happen in this game anymore. I won't be losing my Legolas, no matter what. Even if it means that I won't even leave the castle. Okay, we need to get some arches upon the field now. Um, in order to unlock the Elven Warriors, we need to recruit three Yeoman Archers. And I don't want to hold them, I want to sell them. So I can set a waypoint to the castle, just first of all a post time gate, and we can set a waypoint to the castle like this. And we can sell them by sending them into the castle uh, citadel, you know? So three of them we will need. Bam, bam, bam. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that's going to help the archer range to level 2, which again enables the recruitment of the Alvin warriors. In addition to that, oh my god, my ally is git rushing. Oh my god, what's going on there? <laughs> but my Legolas didn't have to die there, you know? My ally had like very strong horses there. If you would just fight a little bit, my Legolas should be safe. Like losing heroes will slow you down a little bit. So in a dream world, you don't want, you don't want to lose them. Grand Harvest is ready, boys. Men of Rohan. Men of Rohan. Looking for eco. All we need is money. And map control. Oh my god, he's trampling into the pikeman. What is he doing? <laughs> I could go forward with my Lego and Kimli, but I don't want to do that anymore without a backup, you know? Especially when my heal is on cooldown. I'm a person I learned, I learned from my mistakes. Sell them all, sell them all. Okay. Uh, I want to destroy this level 3 Lambert Mill though. Super important to be destroyed. It gives hella money to Aizen and we want to prevent this from happening. So take it down as soon as possible. Go, go, go down, go down, go down. And boom. That's gonna be way less money now for you, Aizen. You can see this this team uh, lacks, I mean, generally, this 2v2, 2v, what is this language? 2v2, that's what I'm trying to say, lacks the team communication and teamwork, you know? And trust me, when there are good players who have good synergy with each other, you, the amount of possibilities you got in a 2v2 match is kind of crazy. Like, you can, uh, you know, teamwork makes a dream work, pretty much. Oh, sorry, man. Your stuff will be broken. We will do to you with Legolas what he didn't do to you in the films. And this well, if he doesn't destroy it, I will unlock my Alvin Wood spell. Uh, remember what I te told you guys? Demolish those structures always. Now I will have enough power points for the Elvin Wood. Oh, be careful. Too many, too many pikemen. Three pikemen in one single location there. Okay, I wanna... Hold on, I have an idea, boys. Watch this. Okay, I have an idea. I need to now bring my heroes so I can farm some experience points, okay? So, yeah, please chase me. Please chase me. And I will show you the power of Gilney. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Watch this extra. Kaboom! <laughs> uh, one way to play around this as Condor is to put your horses into a wedge formation, which will kind of negate the effect of the splash damage. So splash means when you are grouped together, it will hit more than one unit. But if you split them up with the wedge formation, it makes it a bit easier for you. Okay, my ally is also Gandalf upon the field. That's beautiful. And uh, once we have a couple of archers, we are ready to go. I'm going to creep this one actually with my horses. We have two, and I want to dismount my Theodine. And then press U button on the keyboard, make him follow the elves. So I don't need to micro him anymore. And keep getting more and more elven warriors, okay? So later on, 
once we have enough cash, we can also go for Aragorn, who will, you know, give us also a huge boost of damage, uh, which is pretty nice to have. But for now, because my ally is putting pressure, I don't want to be sitting there and doing nothing. I want to actually go also. So, and Gimli, once he's level 3, that's going to be also amazing with the leap attack. But the true power spike we are looking for is, first of all, Legolas hitting level 5. Which will unlock the damage leadership for the, for the elves, you know? So they will hit a bit harder. Okay, we have three Alvin warriors. That's beautiful. Get the map a little bit. My ally is putting pressure on them. They've also land for the war skill scenario. Might go for a juicy land. A leap attack play. Oh, that's gonna be food. Where's my Legolas? And never mind, cancel, cancel. Because I, with my luck, it's gonna hit the Lambert Mill Worker when you auto cast it, you know? Oh, look, that's gonna be so juice for me. Such a juice. Lego, come on, please hit level 4. Okay, we need to take down this outpost. It's gonna bring us into a super. I mean, we are already in a st super strong uh, position. But taking down the outpost and capturing it for ourselves will get us into a basically 90% guarantee win situation. Legolas, hit level 4! I'm gonna hit... Wait, I need to shoot? Hold on a second. Legolas, you, my friend, shoot at them, okay? Level 4. And now immediately use 3 archers. Immediately. Free experience for the Elvin Warriors. Beautiful. And we are in a phenomenal spot. I wonder if the enemy is also his own Gandalf. That's what I want to know. Oh, I'm going to kill Faramir first. Show your quality, Faramir. Show your quality, Faramir. No, Faramir. <laughs> and now we have also level 5 Legolas. Even better. Amazing. Oh my god. Oops, sorry. Um, oh my god. Oh, oh be careful. Go for the, for the well, you know. Gimli level 3. Leap attack available. It's even... Greater. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for this. And go for Aragorn. Bring him to the army. For more damage leadership. Our homes must be defended. Get over here. Oh my god, here's leadership. I think it's Gandalf. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna show you a magic trick, Gan Mag magic trick Gandalf. Now you see him. Now you die already. Why am I not shooting at him? Shoot! Damn it. Need to use heal. Please die. Okay. Level 7. Boom. Leap. Beautiful. And I don't worry. No horse will go safe home today. Only Boromir, the messenger of Gondor. I'm, I'm gonna let you live, Boromir. You can tell your father, Denethor, that you are only alive because of me. I mean, our... Like, when somebody tells you that elves are weak and infantry is non-meta, just show them what you have just seen, okay? On the other hand, I don't know what was going through this man's mind that he was standing in front of my army and instead of going for a visa plus, he was thinking, okay, you know what? Screw the visa plus, I'm gonna just sit there and use my lightning sword. <laughs> what is going through your mind, bro? Okay, I need to um, go now for the W. We basically go for the W. Lego, level level 7 Legolas. Trust me on that one. He's in a joke. His DPS is going to be madness. Absolute madness. Lord's gonna die in a second. Look this. Hulk strike. Like a boom. Uh, okay, I need to put one of them into the Citadel. Because I'm... Afraid this player might go for a sneaky attack on my outpost. So this one is going to give us some self-defense. Our money is kicking in beautifully. Very well done. And we go. Go, 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 go. 
Our army is not super, uh, you know, a lot. We have only three elves there, but it's okay. Remember what I like to say? Quality over quantity. Oh, I killed Saruman off, off screen. Okay. I just killed Saruman off screen, boys. Accidentally, not even intentionally. Do you now believe in the Alvin technology? Watch this guy. Watch this. Bim, 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 bim. And you think you go safe? Boom. No, you are not safe. You are not safe, sir. Oh, hold on a second. You know what time it is. It is time for the teamwork, okay? It's time for the death and glory, but not for my own Rohirrim, but for the knights of my ally. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, you better call it GG. But GG indeed. Um, teamwork lacking there, in my opinion. But it's okay, it was a funny game. You know, Legolas, Elf, something else. I think you enjoy to see also games without horses. So it was definitely fun and... To be honest, they also felt incredibly strong, the Alvin Warriors, with Theodin leadership and Legolas. Later on, even with Aragorn, they felt even unstoppable, I would say. Anyways, guys, GG Upload. If you don't want to miss any future uploads on this channel, please make sure to subscribe to it. And also, when you do this, you can also leave a like. It costs you two seconds. It helps a ton to the channel. Um, I hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.